all right guys welcome back to bermuda grass central just let me let me get right to it guys you are using the wrong blades to cut your grass and i'm going to explain to you the four different kinds that you can use so guys i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you real quick we got four different blades right here <clears throat> generally when you get your lawnmower they may come with something like this now this is a low lift blade this is a medium lift blade this is a high lift blade this is a complete mulching blade, 100% mulching blade. But I'm gonna start off with this blade first. Hey guys, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip about your bagger. Your bagger is the key to getting those leaves off the lawn. If you don't do this, you're gonna always have an issue with that bagger, so stay to the end. So most of the time when you go buy a blade for your lawnmower, if you're getting an OEM blade, it's gonna probably be a low lift blade or a semi motion blade at the same time and if you look at this you can kind of tell this is a semi motion blade and it's a low lift blade now i'm gonna compare this to the medium lift so you can see the medium lift has a longer lip the low lift doesn't have a long lip on it both of them are still motion semi mulching but this one has a shorter lift and let me tell you why so most of the time those low lift blades guys they don't really have a lot of suction R really not suction at all that's going to be the general blade that you get on a lawnmower when you get it it's going to have a little suction but this and, and and lift to throw grass over into the bagger generally those grass those blades are not made to be bagging grass with that's for more or less side discharging and moderate bagging so when you get your lawnmower and it has that blade on it a lot of people will say that the leaves are not sucking up into the bagger or i'm not getting a lot of pull into the bagger <clears throat> more than likely that's what it is it's a low lift blade it's the general blade that's going to be put on most lawnmowers when they are sold homeowner and even some commercial blades may slightly have one like that but it's going to be a tad bit better than a regular homeowner blade so Homeowner blade, low lift mulching blade is not a good blade if you're going to be bagging leaves or you're going to be mulching your lawn. It's just a standard blade that's going to throw the grass out to the side a little bit, but not kick up a lot of dust. Now, when, when you're going to go ahead and start scalping your yard, I'm not scalping mine right now, but if you're just going to cut your grass low per se or scalp it and you want to rake up all that stuff, that's a good blade to cut in the fall or late fall late fall or in the winter when the grass goes completely dormant it's not going to kick up as much dust all right but that's not a bag that's not a blade that i would use to be bagging up my yard especially when scalping so now we got the medium lift blade now these are basically the same blades guys the only difference you're going to get with this medium lift right here and i'll let you see that is that it's going to give you a little bit more lift but not a lot more lift right here now generally a blade like this is good for the normal growing season um in early fall um regular maintenance mowing like you're mowing from 0.75 to 1.5 on hybrid bermuda grass that's a good blade for it right there but check this out so come early fall while the, you got leaves falling and stuff like that it's still a good blade but I, i'm gonna tell you this if you start cutting your grass with that medium lift blade and your side discharging it, you're going to get more debris thrown out and up into the out to the side and up into the air. So technically, you should go back to a low lift blade if you're just mowing and you, when the grass goes dormant and you just want to keep it nice and neat. A lot of people won't change that, but that, that answers the question why this blade isn't doing this and that. Or I don't have a good lawnmower. You may have an excellent lawnmower. The problem is you're using the wrong blade at the wrong time. Now, this blade right here, this is a high lift blade. One of the things when you're looking at it, you got to look at how far it bends up. Now, a lot of these, they don't really bend up that far, the fin. But when you get one that's kind of big like that, and it's actually a bigger blade. Look at it. It's actually a bigger blade. It's going to create more lift when you cut your grass. So in other words, this bigger blade, once that grass hits it, you're going to get more of a push up to go into the lawnmower. And this, this swirl of motion from this blade right here, this high lift blade, it creates more suction. So it actually pulls the grass up 
and it throws it over into the lawnmower. Now, if you want to side discharge with this blade, you can just note that it's going to be grass everywhere when you use a high lift blade and you side discharge. And that's why manufacturers really don't send you that when you first get one. You had to get an aftermarket blade um, for a high lift blade. You'll probably get a low lift blade. Now, that high lift blade, guys, it's going to give you your cleanest cut. It's going to bag the most. Um, it'll even strike better than those low lift and medium lift. Now, in the fall, listen to what I'm about to tell you. I don't suggest you cutting your Bermuda grass while you're trying to bag and bag leaves. The key to bagging leaves is you put the lawnmower right above the grass line and you got a blade that has a lot of suction. It'll pull those leaves off the lawn and throw them over into the bagger. That's why a lot of people, they'll be bagging grass and leaves and you won't get as much power because you're, you're putting the blade to too much. It's actually cutting the grass and it's trying to suck grass up and leaves in at the same time. So the proper way to cut your grass, if you're just going to get the leaves off the ground, is to put it right above the grass line. Use a high lift blade that'll throw the grass over into the bagger cleaner. Now, this is the blade that I use all season long, even in the fall and winter. My grass is at its lowest point because we got a robot mower doing the thing right now. But this mulching blade is a monster. The mulching blade actually has a little lift on it. But what it does is it creates lift to when you cut it, it goes up in the air. And then it gets sliced again. Sliced and diced two, three, four times. However many times it is. And it's just a better blade for when you're just trying to mulch. So if you're mulching leaves... And remember what I said, keep it above the grass line. Don't cut the grass and mulch the um, leaves at the same time because it's not going to work as good if you're just mulching leaves. Now, the benefits of mulching leaves and putting them back in the ground is that that's beneficial free fertilizer. It's going to break down a whole lot faster and it's going to micronutrients, excuse me, microbes and stuff like that will get into the soil. The worms actually, mulch leaves actually attract worms which is good for the yard because you're going to get free aeration and you're going to get free fertilizer all at the same time this video has been informational and you learned something guys i am begging you please hit that subscription button and share this video and hit the like now here's the bonus tip that i want to tell you guys about if you're bagging your lawn all right you see these pores on this lawnmower bagger right here when you hold it up to the light you should be able to see through it all right, all the baggers are made different. This is a particular Ryobi one. They suck stuff in from this side, and all the airflow goes out to that side. When you're bagging, it's best to bag 60 to 70 percent of the grass, and not try to pack it 100 percent. If you're bagging this and the grass is wet, these pores will get clogged up. Therefore, for reducing your airflow that should be coming out, and you're not going to get that great of a suction. So each time you get through with your bagger, you need to blow it out. If you're blowing wet and bagging wet grass, at some point, guys, you're going to have to take a light scrub brush, spray this with some type of light detergent and clean those pores and let it air dry. You cannot continuously keep bagging with this lawnmower with the bagger pores clogged up. So hopefully this video helped you with making decisions on buying blades. Um, when you go buy aftermarket blades, this is some of the things you should be looking for. Some of the manufacturers actually have different type of blades, but this is something that you may want to think about or consider when you go buy blades. If you're running the same blade all year long, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to start getting into the detail of fine tuning your yard and get that real clean cut, a YouTube looking yard, yard these are some things that you need to do. Hopefully, so don't walk away yet, guys. I'm just getting started. Check out that video right there. I got a video about mowing heights. I got a video about pre-emergent that you have to watch, guys. You're tuning to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. It's Michael Bowman. I'll talk to you soon.